On the front lines of COVID-19, so many different industries have been forced to change and adapt, and funeral services is no exception. It's being kicked when you're down, right? You, you suffered a loss and then you can't go through that normal process of inviting folks over. For Cameron Connolly, it's been a difficult year. From telling families they need to limit who can come in person to say their goodbyes, to watching funerals feel almost unnatural without hugs and handshakes. But we're also sympathetic to Alberta Health Services' standpoint. We, we get it. We all want to be a part of the solution. So, but we do. We certainly long for the day where uh, absolutely where we have a full chapel. People laugh together. People cry together. I, I think that that's something that uh, has gone silent with significantly less people in the building. The pandemic has forced changes to the funeral industry, likely here to stay. Though live streaming was an option before, for this funeral home, they went from streaming less than 20% to almost all. A similar story across Alberta as families look for some way to come together. Under current health restrictions in Alberta, funerals can only have 20 people in attendance. But the Alberta Funeral Service Association wants why it's not more like churches that are capped at a percentage of fire code capacity. An industry that is highly regulated and we know how to work with policies and procedures and to keep people safe. When we're planning to have a funeral gathering and a funeral professional is there to help, that the gathering restriction should be based on a percentage like every other essential service. But according to Alberta Health, the difference between a regular church service and a funeral is the emotional nature, saying, quote, it is challenging to limit close contacts between attendees at these events or in these settings. Maintaining distance when people are grieving is challenging, so risk in these settings is higher saying outbreaks have happened in every sector. And a funeral in October before increased restrictions were brought in did result in an outbreak of 36 cases, although not giving many details. But the AFSA argues by now Albertans know not to hug or remove their masks. Grief shared is grief diminished. And when you, you take away the ability to share in grief, it's just heartbreaking. For Cameron Connolly, this isn't the first pandemic his family business has survived. There's stories that, that have been passed down, right? So from my great-grandfather. Great-grandfather worked through the Spanish flu of 1918, taking a shot of whiskey at the end of every day. We emerged um, and we stayed healthy in terms of our, our team, um, but undoubtedly no less trying than what we're going through now. Saying no matter the restrictions, the industry is there to help families say their final goodbyes. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.